Scientists have studied the role of beavers on water quality for a while, and especially out west. The part that is different about what we're doing is that we're studying uh, beavers in urban environments. These areas of the southeast are some of the most rapidly growing areas in the United States. But we also know that urban settings are bad for water quality, and we know the series of problems that come um, with the acceleration of the water cycle, as well as the transport and um, export of pollutants to uh, downstream areas. The retention ponds are these structures that we have built to um, avoid things like um, flash flooding in urban settings. Beavers may actually be doing that already for us. A lot of the nutrients going into the beaver marshes, you know, they're being used up by things actually living in that. Whereas a bioretention pond, things are just going into it. It's kind of mucky, it's kind of gross. So we're kind of looking at how the water quality is changed between the two. This project is a three-year collaborative project uh, among Georgia State University, UNC Chapel Hill, UNC Charlotte, and Georgia Gwyneth College. We're just um, starting to make some very basic comparisons, comparisons related to water flow and the chemistry of the waters. We want to know if beaver dams are useful to keep pollutants out of uh, water, and if they are useful, how effective can they be at removing this sort of pollutants? Beavers are um, excellent engineers. They transform the landscape. Once uh, water flow changes, there's a lot of uh, inundation, of course. So because of this reason, they are thought of as, as a nuisance. The question really comes to management. Can we figure out a way to manage beaver dams in a way that uh, they can be sustainable, they can provide a service to us, and that way it would be sort of like a win-win. We don't have to remove them, and they're keeping our streams healthy.